You're not a prince. Nathan McKinnon blasts Harry at NHL award stage as he demands to be called a prince. It was a night of glitz, glamour and unexpected drama at the 2024 NHL awards ceremony as the hockey world's elite gathered to celebrate the best of the best. One moment stood out above all others, a clash between Colorado Avalanche superstar Nathan McKinnon and none other than Prince Harry himself. The evening started smoothly with the usual pomp and circumstance befitting the prestigious event. Players, coaches and league officials walked the red carpet, posing for photos and basking in the adulation of hockey-hungry fans. But as the awards presentations got underway, a curious thing happened. When it came time to announce the Hart Trophy, awarded to the league's most valuable player, Prince Harry, in attendance as a special guest, took to the stage. As McKinnon's name was called and he made his way up to accept the trophy, the prince stepped forward, hand extended, and said in a booming voice, Before you accept your award, I must insist that you address me as Prince Harry. The crowd fell silent, unsure of how to react. McKinnon, never one to mince words, paused for a moment, then leaned into the microphone and delivered a response that would go down in NHL history. With all due respect, McKinnon began, his voice dripping with sarcasm, I'm here to accept an award for my performance on the ice, not to engage in your royal theatrics. The audience erupted in cheers and applause, clearly delighted by McKinnon's bold and unapologetic retort. Prince Harry, visibly flustered, attempted to interject, but the avalanche captain cut him off. You know, it's funny, McKinnon continued, I've played against a lot of tough opponents over the years, but I have to say, you're the most entitled and out-of-touch person I've ever had the displeasure of sharing a stage with. Do you honestly think anyone here cares about your royal status? This is the NHL, not a medieval court. We're here to celebrate the best hockey players in the world, not kowtow to some self-proclaimed prince. The crowd's roars grew even louder, with many in attendance rising to their feet to applaud McKinnon's scathing takedown of the British royal. Prince Harry, his face flushed with embarrassment, attempted to regain control of the situation, but it was too late. The damage had been done. Look, Prince Harry, or whatever you want to be called, McKinnon said, I'm not here to play politics or engage in your royal drama. I'm here to accept an award for my performance on the ice, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So if you'll excuse me, I've got a trophy to hoist. With that, McKinnon turned and accepted the Hart Trophy to thunderous applause, leaving Prince Harry standing there speechless and humiliated. It was a moment that will undoubtedly be etched into the annals of NHL history. A testament to McKinnon's unwavering spirit and refusal to be cowed by anyone, no matter how lofty their title. In the aftermath of the incident, the hockey world erupted in a flurry of commentary and debate. Some praised McKinnon's bold and unapologetic stance, hailing him as a true champion of the sport who refused to be intimidated by royal pretension. Others, however, criticised the Avalanche star for his perceived disrespect towards a member of the British royal family. But for McKinnon and his legions of fans, the moment was a triumph of authenticity over empty pomp and circumstance. The NHL superstar had once again proven himself to be a fiercely independent and uncompromising force, unwilling to bow to the demands of those who sought to impose their will upon him. At the end of the day, this is about hockey, pure and simple, McKinnon said in a post-ceremony interview. I'm not here to play political games or kowtow to anyone, no matter how important they think they are. As the hockey world continues to buzz about the incident, one thing's clear. Nathan McKinnon has cemented his place as one of the sport's most unapologetic and uncompromising stars. And for those who dare to challenge him, whether on the ice or off, they do so at their own peril.